Hello everyone and welcome to Inside Japan. While there are western stores and restaurants here in Japan, there are also many Japanese stores that might pique the interest of some people. This video is going to give the history and information about one of the most popular clothing stores in Japan, Uniqlo. The history of this store is a little interesting. By the time 1963 came around, the business had grown a lot. Enough for Gori Shoji Code LTD to be established with 6 million yen capital. In June of 1984, Tadashi opened Unique Clothing Warehouse in Fukuramachi, which is in Nakaku, Hiroshima. Unique Clothing Warehouse sold unisex casual clothing instead of just men's clothing. After the business grew, there were stores all over Japan under the shortened name of Uniqlo. The business continued to grow into foreign markets. In 1988, when expanding into Hong Kong, a mistake happened. When registering the name for the company, the C was mistaken for a Q. And so, instead of UNICLO, it was UNIQLO. Apparently, Tadashi Yanai liked this enough to change all the existing stores in Japan from a C to a Q. And finally, in 1991, the parent company of Uniqlo, Ogori Shoji Co. Ltd. changed its name to Fast Retailing Co. Ltd. The business has expanded so much that Tadashi Yanai is now the second richest person in Japan and the 55th richest person in the world. Now on to the physical store. Uniqlo sells casual clothing for men, women, and children. What makes this store so appealing is that the clothes do not look cheap to the average person and the prices are reasonable. Something else that attracts customers are the designs that are available. With the rotating line of Disney properties, such as Star Wars and Marvel, as well as designs from Nintendo, music bands, and other pop culture related items, Uniqlo has designs that many people can enjoy. When it comes to the store layout, Uniqlo has a pretty simple design. The registers can be found in the front, and the dressing rooms are in the back of the store, with everything else in between. The dressing room area is also a place where customers can give a shop clerk clothing that was tried on and not going to be purchased. Also in this area, customers can ask the clerk to hem pants that are too long. This may cost a little extra and might take a while. The time depends on how busy the store is. With the success of Uniqlo, Fast Retailing Co. Ltd. has decided to expand its business with another store called GU. But GU is a quick video for another time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below or contact us on Twitter at InsideJapanInfo. This was Inside Japan, and thanks for watching.